Hi fans of High Quality Entertainment. Welcome to part two where I show you the latest update on my CD collection and going row by row. So in part one, I did all of this row. There might be, as I said in the first video, video there might be a, a CD or two missing. It might be in my bedroom or on the bottom shelf where I can't fit in some CDs. So the, I just store them on the bottom shelf because they're larger than a regular CD. Sorry for going into details. So here we go with level two. And usually I have the, the real, you know, for each artist, I have the, the albums in order, but sometimes they get all, all messed up. It's not really that important to me. So we ended with Blind Faith and on the next level the amazing Stock Forest Group. This is uh, actually Blue Easter Cult before they were Blue Easter Cult. They were a band called Stock Forest Group and this is excellent. If you enjoy Blue Easter Cult's debut album. Uh, this has some songs that are on the, the debut album. Um, yeah, I'm on the Lamb. Maybe that's about it. It has one song from the debut album. But anyway, this is excellent. And the production, crystal clear. There's the band members. Highly recommended if you're a Blue Easter Cult fan. And then, of course, all the Blue Easter Cult albums. Love it. They're not in order. Love it. The best of the broadcast. I need to listen to this more. That's from the box set. Uh, Secret Treaties, possibly their greatest album. Tyranny and Mutation, all of these I absolutely love. Rarities from the box set. Spectres, highly underrated. One of their great live albums, Some Enchanted Evening. And this comes with a DVD from the box set, so that's pretty cool. On Your Feet or On Your Knees. Amazing live album. And all of these later albums I thoroughly enjoy. Club Ninja. At some point I want to rank all of their albums. The Revolution... By Night. Great albums. Imaginos. Extra Terrestrial. Extra, you try saying that. Another live album. <laughs> uh, it's too early to say that word. Cultiseris Erectus. Love all of these albums. So they're going to be hard to read. Fire of Unknown Origin and Agents of Fortune. And I do need to get uh, Curse of the, the... What is that called? I forget. Their last two albums that, that they recorded later on. I've heard them online and they're good. I know uh, there's a remastered version coming of Curse of the Hidden Mirror. That's it. Bob Dylan! My favorite Bob Dylan album, Slow Train Coming. I play this not often, but I, I do play it, you know, every few months. And I absolutely, I've loved it since 19, I guess, 1978 when it came out. A great 60s band that I talked about in the past, the Buckinghams. Great 60s pop rock. Then, I think I'm missing one of the CDs here. Hallelujah is somewhere else, but these are some of the canned heat. Boogie with canned heat. Future blues. I love all of these. And Livin' the Blues, a double CD. Plus Hallelujah, wherever it is.
then we get into a, I'll say a, a crap load instead of, instead of the other word, and I just spit. Captain Beefheart and his magic band. The Mirror Man Sessions. I haven't gotten into that one. I've tried. And same with this one, strictly personal. But my father once said to me, patience is a virtue, and I've never understood what that means. Uh, unconditionally guaranteed, which is good. It's not bad. Trope mask replica. As, just like other people, the first time I heard this, years ago, I hated it. But you need to listen to it a few times, and I love it. Ice cream Crow, his final studio album is excellent. I love this. The original version of Bat Chain Puller. Puller. Possibly my favorite Captain Beefheart album, Shiny Beast. Bat Chain Puller. The re recording of Bat Chain Puller. Safe as, safe as Milk. Even John Lennon was a fan of this album. And Paul McCartney, I believe. Lick my decals. Is it decals or decals? Whatever. Lick my decals off, baby. I, I'll say decals. I'm, I'm finally starting to appreciate this. It's been, uh, it's kind of like Trope Mask Replica. Needs a few, a few more lessons, though. Outtakes from the box set. I have a few more. This is okay, too. It's uh, Blue Jeans and Moon Beams. Not one of his better albums, but it's still not terrible. Clear Spot, which is excellent. And I was confused when I got this in the box set, because it was just, there was no actual cover. It was just, but that's the way the original album came out, I guess, in the plastic sleeve. Along with, uh, along with the one that I said was my favorite, this is also my favorite, Dock at the Radar Station. It could be number one, but maybe number two. And this one's okay to the Spotlight Kit. Before I forget, um, in my first video I mentioned I, I I also wanted to mention in my first video for this one, I had some early Alice Cooper albums, but I said I never had Billion Dollar Babies. I've never actually listened to the whole album, and then I did finally get it, and uh, it's great. It could possibly be his greatest album. That's what a lot of fans think, and it is. It's great. Okay. Right now, I only have one Cheap Trick album, but I love their early albums. But their debut album is a classic. If you've never heard it, you should. Chris Squire, Fish Out of Water, the bass guitarist for Yes. This is amazing. Along with the, the John Anderson solo album, Ole Oleus of Sun Hello. It could be the best Yes solo album. I played it a lot. Cream, Gold. It's basically all of their uh, early studio albums and the live, those two live albums that they had out back in the day. I don't play it very often, but when I do, I really enjoy it. I need more credence, but I have Pendulum, very underrated. Uh, 
Live at Woodstock, which just came out last year, which is excellent. Along with Cosmos Factory, which I don't have at the moment. Bio Country, with my favorite CCR song, Keep on Chewing. And Creed's Clearwater Revival, the concert. All excellent. And I play them once in a while. But through the years, I've played CCR a lot. I love early Crosby, Stills and Nash and Young. Debut album, Remastered. I want to get this. Uh, I think there might be a, a remastered version because this CD is from, like, I think the late 80s. It still sounds good, though. And then, to finish off this row, it's just all David Bowie, which I've uh, recently talked about. I have all of his studio albums. And I haven't really... Listen to Boy recently, like I was, because I've been into a lot of Yes lately and Van Morrison, but I love, love, love. This is good. I did listen to this more, starting to really enjoy it. Uh, but I will get back into listening to him, and someday this year, rank all of his studio albums. Lodger is great. All of these. This one I need to listen to more still. That's a good one. Tonight is not as terrible as I thought it would be. From all the bad reviews I've received. David Live is excellent. One of my favorites of his, Hunky Dory. Great live albums. I just haven't had the time to listen to them more than I want to. There's so many, there's so much music. I just don't have the time to listen to. That's excellent too. And finally, The Man Who Sold the World. Excellent. So that's row number two. Now, I'll be back in a few days with row number three. Or maybe I'll trick you and I'll do row number four first and just confuse everybody. Have a great day.